Hi, this is John Irwin, and this is the Chemistry for Biology channel. And today our topic is, what targets might my compound hit? And um, this is coming to you from the University of California, San Francisco, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. Uh, and so to answer this question, we use, uh, well, you could use a number of methods, but one thing is to use... Um, combination of zinc and C. And so you can follow us at uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and all that. So uh, how would you find out what targets your compound might hit? Well, it might be already annotated in the literature. And if it is, you can search for your molecule in Kemble, or you, why not just use zinc to search for it? Second, if the compound isn't recorded in the literature in an annotated database, you can use C to predict the biological target of the compound. And so I'll show you how to do that. Um, finally, um, at least I'm mentioning this because it's, it should be possible to use docking to predict what targets a compound might hit. And uh, then there's other resources like, um, I don't know, Google or um, CAS and things like that. But I'm not going to talk about them too much. Okay, so we're going to start with C. And so this is the C search tool. And so here we are in C. And so um, imagine you want to know the biological target of, of uh, morphine. So you, or, or whatever your compound is, you get the smiles. And you can get this out of uh, uh, e-molecules, out of zinc, out of um, uh, Kemble, out of um, Wikipedia. There's lots and lots of places where that you can get smiles. Or you can simply draw the molecule. And then we're going to search against uh, Kemble version 10. We're going to use the Cytegic, there's no real choice there. And when we do a search, what you'll see is at the top of the page, you're going to see the targets that are annotated. So everything with a max TC of 1 is annotated. These are all targets. So this is the Uniprot code, the target name. And as you can see, there's a lot of repetition. Why is that? Well, there's the human annotation for Delta and Kappa. Then there's rat and mouse and, and so on. And so all these predictions are known. So uh, morphine is a, an opioid receptor uh, ligand, okay, and it's also known to hit do do dopamine. Um, but we also have a prediction here. Now, so in, as soon as you get past the blue area, uh, we have a prediction. It's predicted to hit uh, acetylcholine esterase, fairly insignificant C score, fairly low tenomoto similarity, might not work. Anyway, we're going to open it up in a new tab. And so here, what you get to see is the acetylcholinesterase, uh, the, the ligand, morphine, at the top. Um, and then you're going to see the most similar ligands that are annotated against acetylcholinesterase. 487 of them from Kemble. But here, the two most similar ones, actually remarkably similar, if you look. It's got an aryl ring with some uh, methoxy or hydroxies on it. It's got the nitrogen, the charged nitrogen. Now, you have to sort of imagine what this cage structure is going to look like. Um, but I think the fact that you've got charge, aromatic, and aliphatic with hydroxyls, charge, aromatic, and aliphatic with hydroxyls, suggests to me that this is worth a try. And so you could take this compound and purchase it, uh, this one, uh, sorry, this compound here, and purchase it for, so morphine, if you can get it, against acetylcholinesterase. Um, it's a Schedule, I'm sure it's a Schedule 1 compound, isn't it? So, um, so uh, that looks like a pretty good prediction. And then you can go back here and look at additional predictions. Dopamine D1, not surprising because it's already known for rats, so why shouldn't it be known? And similarly, acetylcholinesterase, that's a repetition. And then by the time you get to here, statistically insignificant. I really wouldn't look at it, but I'm going to anyway, just because we're, we're t turning over all the, the rocks here. But look now what happens. Now you've got a charge. You've got an aromatic over here. You know, NMDA, maybe morphine hits NMDA. So how would you know that? Well, you might type in morphine NMDA. Hit return. Chronic morphine, chronic morphine treatment alters NMDA receptor mediated, blah, blah, blah. Synaptic transmission. Maybe uh, it's a, a affecting it right on. Um, something to think about. Okay, so 
Um, what I would have liked to have shown you is that you can also use zinc when you bring up a molecule in zinc, you can simply click on this Go See button here at the bottom, and then it will just take you directly into, into C. So you don't even need to, uh, you know, copy-paste it over. You can just go directly there. And this is what I've shown you already for predictions. And so, in summary, I'd like to tell you that this has been a Chemistry for Biology presentation, and the topic today was, what targets might my compound hit? I've shown you couple of ways of doing that, but mostly about C, the similarity ensemble approach. You can uh, see more of our videos on our YouTube channel. You can friend us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. This, this research was uh, supported by the NIH, which, for which we're grateful, and uh, we'll see you back next time. Bye-bye.